بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد عدنان ورکنگ ایز اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ان دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف فزکس کوہارٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی آئی ویلکم یو ٹو دی کورس پی ایچ وائی فور اے ٹو لیزر پلازما انٹریکشنز ٹوڈے اٹ از دی الیونتھ لیکچر آف دس کورس اینڈ ویل بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی پروپیگیشن آف الیکٹرو میگنیٹک ویوز ان این ان ہوموجینس پلازما and in this lecture we will be considering the oblique incidence previously we have discussed the propagation of electromagnetic waves uh, where we have discussed the case of uh, normal incidence first i will give the learning objectives at the end of this lecture the student uh, will understand uh, how the wave propagation characteristics changes when the wave vector k is at an angle uh, say theta to the density gradient <coughs> as i told you we are considering in homogeneous plasma so in homogeneous plasma uh, is such that there lies a density gradient and uh, the propagation vector k of the incoming electromagnetic wave or laser is a, at an angle to that direction over which there lies a density gradient In this course uh, we are following <coughs> the book uh, Physics of Laser Plasma Interactions by Williams L Kruger. Uh in this lecture I have taken some of the illustrations from this book. <coughs> Now to start with uh we choose the coordinates in such a way that the laser propagates in the y z plane. that is the wave vector is in this plane now the important thing is that this k is having component k y and k z that is if you uh, go through your plasma uh, course uh, there we have discussed two dimensional propagation so the the wave or the laser propagates in, in a two dimensional plane uh, having uh, the components of the wave vector k s k y and k z now as we have discussed in the previous uh, <coughs> lecture uh, just to make things uh, the same the vacuum plasma interface is chosen at z is equal to 0 and the electromagnetic wave is obliquely incident at an angle theta not to the normality of the surface for example <coughs> we have uh, this plane uh, which is formed because of this y and z so this is that incident laser uh, uh, or we can say the electromagnetic wave uh, which lies at z is equal to 0 now the angle is theta not uh, relative to the normality of the Uh, of this uh, uh, plasma slave so the wave vector uh, of the incoming electromagnetic wave is uh, this represented by this k not the magnitude is k not and inside that plasma uh, the wave vector changes to k this changes because uh, we are considering that plasma slave or we can say the plasma is having density gradients now for the simplicity uh, like in the previous uh, case the electron density uh, varies with z only so that uh, the density uh, gradient lies along uh, this direction uh, if if the wave propagates in this direction so uh, the the density is uniform as when moves from this point to this point that there is no gradient along y and there is only one dimensional gradient that is along z so that wave vector k will change uh, because of the density gradients if you uh, if you are following the last few lectures so you will understand once uh, there lies a gradient or in homogeneous plasma so that uh, there will be cut off points and the and the electromagnetic wave will uh, uh, come back from that point where uh, the 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 
the the plasma frequency or you can say the electron plasma frequency equal to the 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 incoming wave frequency so the aim of this lecture is to see how the those configuration changes once we are talking about uh, oblique incidence so uh, in this lecture we will see that uh, th that definition that omega p will be equal to omega at the cutoff so that will changes and you will see all those things here so just for the understanding and to follow this lecture uh, you will know that the the wave vector is having two two component y and z uh, inside uh, this medium the plasma medium uh, and uh, the density gradient and the function of z is assumed to be linear that is the density uh, increases as uh, you move towards the higher zx axis and theta is the angle uh, between the electron density gradient and the wave vector k the electric field is in the x direction for the s polarization and uh, in the y z plane for the p polarization now in the coming two lecture we will be uh, considering the outcomes of the wave propagation characteristics for the s polarization and for the p polarization uh, in this lecture uh, we will be uh, just want to know how these configurations or we can say these scale changes once we are talking about two dimensional propagation uh, or we can say the oblique incidence so the s polarization is that when the laser is incident at an angle say theta naught and the 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 electric field of the incoming electromagnetic wave or we can say the laser is perpendicular to this y and z plane that is uh, uh, that is the s polarization so if we see uh, throughout uh, this thing the electric field uh, is at an angle uh, uh, 90 to the plane y z so that is s polarization so <coughs> So that's why it is written that the electric field is in the x direction for the s polarization. So if this electric field is at a right angle to the plane uh, formed by y and z, so that the electric field is in the x direction for the s polarization. There is another possibility that is the, the electric field is uh, in the plane uh, of uh, or we can say parallel to the plane which is having this plasma slave or we can say the plane formed by y and z so uh, in that situation <coughs> we'll be having p polarization so uh, in the last lecture uh, coming two lectures we'll be discussing the linear polarization of the electromagnetic wave or we can say linear polarized lasers uh, having s and p polarization such that the 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 propagation characteristics in inhomogeneous plasma will change but uh, we are discussing uh, these uh, different limits or the various uh, cutoffs and uh, uh, reflection points so just for the uh, simplicity what we are uh, taking or we can say what is the geometry that we are following for uh, this and coming two lectures so the wave vector k is having kx0 so there are no kz kx and ky by definition is omega over c sine theta and kz is omega over c cos theta that is k is the sum of k square is equal to or ky square plus kz square will be using uh, these uh, definitions now for the s polarization uh, the electric field will be in the uh, having x component but that will propagate through a medium uh, uh, which is there in the yz so that electric field 
of the uh, incoming electromagnetic wave which is incident on this inhomogeneous plasma the, that field will depend upon the y and z coordinate now uh, since for the electromagnetic wave to propagate the magnetic field uh, will be, uh, be will be in this plane for the p polarization the electric field will be in that plane while the magnetic field will be perpendicular to the 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 uh, the plane uh, over which we are considering the plasma slave so this is just uh, simplest two cases so in the next lecture we will be uh, taking these values following the same figure so once the wave is incident uh, for a two dimensional wave propagation the dispersion relation uh, will be omega square is equal to omega p square plus k square c square you already know this k square c square but since I told you that uh, the k square is k y square plus k z square the wave is propagating or we can say the 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 wave is moving or we can say the wave vector is having two component uh, k y and k z but the interesting thing is that if you remember the lecture number seven where we have discussed that dispersion relation uh, which you have just uh, saw uh, on the uh, on that slide so there we have discussed that that wave is propagating uh, uh, through that plasma but uh, now you understand that once you have gradients in the z direction so this kz will will change as uh, the 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 wave is moving through that uh, plasma while there is no gradient in the uh, y coordinate so this k y will be uh, constant throughout uh, that propagations so since we have only a z dependence uh, in the electron density or we can say the, the gradient lies only in the z direction so one has a, a, a constant k y and that k y I have show you on the previous slide that it is omega over c times the uh, sine theta naught this theta naught is the the angle at which the the incoming electromagnetic wave is uh, uh, coming to that uh, plasma slave so ky is the function of z that is the this propagation uh, along k is affected by the gradients in the z direction so kz will change and hence uh, as i told you those uh, cut off points or we can say the point of reflection will change or the the plasma dielectric function will change or the the point where the omega is equal to omega p square you can say the the where the the plasma dielectric function goes to zero and the wave uh, tends to reflect so the, all those things will change and we are uh, going through that <clears throat> so once the kz is a function of z so the reflection of the laser or we can say the electromagnetic wave occurs uh, at the surface where uh, kz equal to zero so uh, that point uh, will be the point of reflection if, if you are if you are following this point uh, forget about these lines at the moment we don't know whether this is epsilon equal to zero or epsilon equal to sine square theta naught or we can say this is that critical point or you can say the critical density or this is uh, critical times cos square theta naught so this is just uh, the point of uh, reflection where kz or we can say further there are no propagation along the z direction and it's reflected so uh, the reflection point occurs at the surface where kz is equal to zero or we can say that that angle becomes uh, 90 so these are the the definitions we are following the the density is having this profile that is it is linearly increases with z and the plasma dielectric function is given by 1 minus omega p square over omega square that can be expressed in terms of 
the densities so if you uh, are following uh, the last few slides so you will understand that at the cutoff the, these definition you following uh, this dispersion relation or we can say if you understand that this ky will be constant throughout and kz will change and hence the the wave reflect at a point so that at the reflection point the plasma dielectric function is equal to sine square theta naught the omega p square at the at the cutoff or at the reflection point uh, is not equal to omega if you are following here so uh, so that when omega is equal to omega p or, or in other word the plasma density is increasing with z so there will be a point where the the plasma frequency will be equal to the incoming wave frequency and hence that will be the point where epsilon goes to zero and that will be the point of reflection but once we are talking about <coughs> gradient in the one one dimensional gradient and oblique incidence so the definition of uh, making this epsilon uh, goes to zero for that point is changes to omega is equal to cos cos of theta naught or we can say this the, the 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 profile changes to this thing or we can say the the point at which the the laser reflect or electromagnetic wave reflect that is not equal to the critical density given by this expression but rather it depends upon the angle of incidence also the z is equal to l times cos square theta naught you can see all these things that uh, the the new configuration of, of the uh, reflection uh, point of reflection is now changed previously uh, for the normal incidence these these configuration for the point of uh, reflection was uh, omega uh, epsilon equal to 0 uh, omega p is equal to omega uh, density equal to this expression and uh, uh, that uh, Z was given by the other expression. So how these uh, how these uh, these uh, limit changes once the the uh, incoming electromagnetic waves makes an angle theta not so that we are uh, doing on the next line. So solving the wave equation for the electromagnetic field one finds that there is no sharp cutoff it might appear from the geometrical optics but uh, an exponential decay of the field for given so as i told you uh, those field profiles will be discussed uh, uh, in the coming lecture first for s polarization and then for p polarization but here one can see that uh, this is that point of uh, uh, reflection once the 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 incoming electromagnetic wave is uh, is at a, a normal incidence so for example if we make this this theta goes to zero with this gradient direction such that this is normal uh, to that uh, that plane uh, uh, having the plasma slave so if make if we make this normal so that uh, uh, this will be the point of reflection having epsilon equal to zero and the 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 density will be equal to the critical density at this particular point but once uh, the incoming uh, electromagnetic waves makes an angle theta not in this particular case so that uh, the propagation vector kz will change because of the density gradient while ky will be constant so because of uh, this obliqueness uh, of the incoming electromagnetic wave uh, incident on any homogeneous plasma so there there lies a, a a difference of the reflection point and uh, on the previous slide i have shown these these number how one can uh, verify so you you need to follow this slide so we are discussing uh, the the next two slide uh, with respect to this point of uh, reflection
so we know that we are considering uh, two dimensional propagation such that the wave vector uh, k square is equal to ky square plus kz square and as i have shown you that this ky square will be constant because along the y direction there are uh, no density gradients uh, the density gradient lies along the z coordinate so kz will change and this ky is having this constant value this theta naught is constant and omega square is the uh, omega is the frequency of the incoming electromagnetic waves and c square is the speed of light so this is a constant number so that means if we use uh, th this expression uh, here in the uh, definition of this uh, k square so if we uh, rearrange this equation such that kz square will be equal to k square minus ky square also we know that this ky square uh, can be expressed in terms of the uh, plasma dielectric function as this so if we uh, make this k to k square so that will be equal to omega square over c square times uh, the plasma dielectric function so if we use this uh, k square here and uh, i told you that this ky square which is constant given by omega square over c square sin square theta so this is the the uh, the profile of the kz or the propagation the component of the propagation vector along uh, that direction over which the density gradient is there so this kz will change uh, during that a propagation of electromagnetic wave inside that inhomogeneous plasma now at the cutoff as i told you at the cutoff this kz is zero so this kz is zero that means that this epsilon is equal to the sine square uh, theta naught so if we are uh, writing this kz square again so that this kz square equal to the k square minus ky square so that uh, at the cutoff as i told you kz is zero so if if we make this equal to zero that means this uh, the the plasma dielectric function is equal to sine square theta naught so this is the first expression that that changes uh, once we are having oblique incidence now if we use uh, this definition sin square theta naught uh, in the uh, as i told you uh, on the previous slide that epsilon is equal to 1 minus omega p square over omega square so if we equate these two so it comes out to be uh, uh, this omega square if you make this one uh, on the other side so that uh, minus 1 uh, plus sine square theta equal to minus omega p square over omega square so if we make this minus common uh, on both sides so that this omega p square will be equal to omega square which will be uh, which will go to the other side as nominator omega square into 1 minus sine square theta so that uh, this 1 minus sine square theta naught can be expressed in terms of cos square so uh <clears throat> that is at the cutoff c epsilon not epsilon or the plasma dielectric function is not equal to zero but it depends upon that uh, angle of incidence so if we make that angle equal to theta not equal to zero that is the incoming electromagnetic wave uh, uh, is normal to the surface so that this theta will be zero and the epsilon will be zero at the cutoff similarly uh, at the same theta zero will give you omega p is equal to omega so we are rec one can recover uh, the the limit of the normal incidence uh, from the oblique incidence similarly from the figure one can verify that this l is uh, uh, l time cos cos theta so that uh, one can use in the definition uh, and can be expressed in terms of uh, this new part so uh, 
I just want to see one thing. Uh, I have shown you that these configuration changes uh, to these new values and that is based on uh, the, the, the various limits that one can obtain uh, following uh, the definition of the web vector and one can uh, verify the various limits of uh, uh, these uh, these parameters for the uh, normal incidence so here i told you that these are uh, these are our uh, point of discussion so here uh, one can see that once the wave is in uh, propagating in the two dimension so that that cutoff point is now somehow different that uh, point where epsilon equal to zero the plasma frequency becomes equal to the wave frequency all those definition changes uh, once we are having density gradient in the one direction and the wave is incident at an angle uh, theta naught so as i told you if we make this theta equal to zero or in another word the incoming electromagnetic wave is uh, normal to the to the plane uh, which contains that plasma slave so in such situation uh, these number automatically reduces to the one which we have discussed in the uh, the upper case so with this i thank you